Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing an example for the activity diagram. We are discussing the ATM transaction activity diagram in UML. So my dear students, an activity diagram is discussed detailed in the previous lecture. Simply an activity diagram represents a series of actions or flow of controls in a system and the activity diagrams are often used in business process modeling. They can be also described the steps in a use case diagram. So many students, the different symbols or notations in an activity diagrams are detailing here. The first notation is activity or action state. An action state represents the non-interruptible action of object. So we can represent an activity or an action state with a rectangle with a rounded corner. Next notation is the action flow. Action flow, also called edge or path, illustrate the transition from one action state to another. They are usually drawn with the help of an arrowed line. So our second notation is action flow, which is represented by an arrow line. Third one is initial or the starting state or starting point. A small filled circle or a complete filled circle followed by an arrow represents the initial state or the starting point of an activity diagram. So my dear students, let us consider our ATM transaction example. So we are starting from a starting state. So next we are moving to an activity or action called insert card. For every ATM transaction, the first process for initiating an ATM transaction is inserting an ATM card into a ATM machine. So we are inserting the card. This activity is the first activity. So the activity insert card is followed by the read the card. So the action insert card is performed by a customer or a, a particular person and the reading card scenario is performed by an ATM machine. So there are two activities, insert card and reading card activity. And there are different action flows. While reading a card, this action flow next move to the next action known as request the PIN. So the customer inserted a card, the card is read by the ATM and the request PIN is aroused by the ATM machine. So the PIN request is proceeded with the process PIN activity that is the customer had entered some PIN numbers. Those PIN will be processed by the ATM machine. So my dear students, while accepting the process or for proceeding to the next step, what we have to do is authorize the card that is we have to read the particular data encoded in an ATM card and we have to verify whether the PIN code entered by the customer is the right one. Both these activities are done by the ATM machine as well as the bank server. And the authorization process is the next activity in this system. So my dear students, next come the term swim lanes. The swim lanes are group related activities or grouping up of activities into one or more columns. So as we discussed in our example, the insert card may be performed by a customer or a particular person. So the processes like card reading, requesting pin, processing pin, cash counting, cash dispatching, all these activities are done by an ATM machine and the authorization and the processing will be done by the bank server or the bank itself. So these are the three different actors or processes or different entities involved in these action scenarios. So the swim lines can be represented by dividing these activities or grouping these activities into these particular different entities. So the customer can insert a card. The insert card activity is enabled in the customer swim lane. Reading card requesting pin processing pin is encoded in the ATM machine process scenario and the authorization as well as the debiting or crediting activities are done in the banking swim line. So my dear students, next arise the different notation known as decision or branching notation. When an activity requires a decision prior to moving on to the next activity, add a diamond between these two activities. 
the outgoing alternate should be labeled with a condition or god expression we can also use a label known as if else in this scenario so the decision or branching or splitting up a process into two can be represented with the help of a decision symbol known as a diamond or a filled diamond so when we come to our example the bank authorizes the card there arises a question if the authorization is valid or the entered pin is valid we can move to the enter amount activity or move to the next step if the authorization or the customer had entered a wrong pin this process cannot be proceed into next level so we have to stop this particular activity so the authorized card scenario or the activity is followed by a decision or a branching statement here the pin entered by the customer can either be right or wrong if the customer is entered a right pin or a valid pin he can move to the next step known as enter the amount and uh, if he had entered a correct amount or a amount that could be debited from his account he can withdraw that particular amount if the entered pin is a wrong pin the process will move to the stop scenario so now there arises a different notation on a synchronization a fork node is used to split a single incoming flow into multiple concurrent flow and a join node means multiple concurrent flows came back into a single outgoing flow this fork and join mode used together is known as synchronization so when we come to our example we had entered the card entered the pin this pin is verified or authorized by the bank then there arises a question if the customer had entered the valid pin he can move to the next process or the activity known as enter the amount while entering the amount we can move to the next activity called check balance that is the bank will check whether the entered amount can be covered within the customer account so balance check is done if the given balance is greater than the amount in the bank he can take the cash from the atm that is here he can take the cash from the atm as well as debit that particular amount from the bank database so a process is split into two different scenarios or two different processes this splitting is known as forking of a particular process and this forking can be joined towards to the next step known as next activity known as show balance activity so fork and join together is known as synchronization so this synchronization moves to the next activity called show balance activity here the transaction is moving towards the end scenario the customer entered the atm machine he inserted the card read at the card requested the pin entered the particular pin code he now entered the amount the atm machine verify with the bank with the check balance scenario and he moves to the next activities like take the cash from the atm debiting from the account showing the balance and finally the atm machine will eject the particular card and the customer can remove the card and then there arises the notation as merge of event the merging of event brings together multiple flow that are not concurrent so this merging can be done with the check balance as well as the show balance scenario also so this different level merging or different level combining is known as merging and the same level combining or the combining of actions in the same level is known as joining and finally we are moving to the time event notation that is this notation refers to an event that stop the flow for a particular time and it is represented by a hour glass symbol for example if the customer is entered into an atm counter he inserted the card and while reading these data by the atm machine 
the customer has to wait for a particular time until the machine is available or until the machine is responding to that particular action so this a response to an action can be represented by a time sequence notation so my dear students now we are moving to the final state a final state is the last state so this final state is an arrow pointing to a filled circle nested inside another circle that represents the final last state of the action so after removing the card the customer can leave the atm machine or the atm counter or the atm process so this is how we are representing the different actions in a atm transaction so my dear students in this lecture we have discussed the activity diagram for the atm transaction an activity diagram represents a series of actions or flow of controls in a system and we have discussed an example relating with this activity diagram in this lecture so my dear students hope you had understood this topic so my dear students kindly go through this assignment question our question is draw the uml activity diagram for the library management system so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss another examples relating with the uml diagrams so dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best